oh my gosh my favorite role oh my gosh it has to be when i was the lead i know and get your head in the game <laughs> yes i was troy bolton's ball and trust me my family never let me hear the end of it <laughs> every day it's like i remember that time i was shut up um oh my old my my first role oh my gosh uh you're showing my age <laughs> no i was an extra in space jam yeah it was a really good little gig um really got my foot you know foot in the door <laughs> my claim to fame <laughs> where do i even start i'm lionel messi's go-to i'm his practice ball he had it off with the coach trying to tell him that he couldn't take me on the pitch with him it's just like such a good feeling to know that like I'm his practice ball and I'm like a little bit the reason to do why he's such a legend at the moment. Like me, he practices with me. It's such a good feeling for me, but I don't brag about that. Like my my mates say to me, they're like, "Oh, will you not get better?" I feel like he gets a new ball, and actually, like, I don't think I will because the relationship we've got is just so nice. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm not mad, I'm not angry, but it is more frustrating me at the moment that every new person I meet in my life immediately goes to, uh, what was it like, falling on Newton's head? And I'm telling you, my darling, whether it's a myth or not, if you have an opinion, I'd like you to take your opinion and go somewhere else, my darling, because there was no room for this in my orchard. Um, yeah, like, it's so strange because... Obviously, like, I've been playing tennis for so, so long now, evidently, I'm a ball. But it was crazy when, obviously, the producers of Made in Chelsea wrote to me and was like, would you like to come and star in an episode? And I was like, that's actually crazy. I've never, ever thought of doing that. And I jumped on it. I leapt on the opportunity, naturally, anybody would. And, yeah, here I am. I am currently the lead at the Kensington um, Courts. Yeah. She comes in here and takes about, what, five or six a day? Do you know what I say to that? Karen, you... Gonna get a high cholesterol. Come in. Are you alright in here? You okay? Okay. Okay. Uh, see you on stage. <laughs> I'm halfway to Amberlynn here. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Natalie, be careful! <laughs> <laughs> We've got two types of people. And <laughs> in is or in the in is? No, in is or in the ear. Ins are. Yo, yeah, you funny. <laughs> That was Mel's fun fact for the day. No, no, just doing her makeup, getting that green on. Try and get Henry. Don't lose your head. Don't lose your head. 
JJ, are you like in between the goals? Yeah. Yeah. I'm there and then I step out. Amazing point. If you could just mirror that. Hold that, let me just look at it further out. <laughs> of six and make sure you tune in to build London at 4 30. Come on. This is about to hear my story. <laughs> I'm a, a girls, <laughs> London, I'm about to win this competition. <laughs> Maria! No, no, no! Now, and I'm like, okay, it's great. Seven years later. Okay. No, 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 no. I just don't think I'd eat that in Wimple. <laughs> and I'm like, no way. Da 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 in the nick of time. Ah! <laughs> so it's like the half an hour to one side of the chin. My queen's girl. Giving you a little bit of a Lily Allen meets Avril Lavigne meets Kate Nash. Ooh. Giving yeah. it that British meets slight pop rock twist. Any place in the whole I'm world, I'm going to go yeah. the whole world. Oh. Oh. I'm going to do it. I'm she it. greedy, y'all. She greedy. <laughs> I do like a bit of um, Willy Wonka. Just imagine pouring your cornflakes, looking up and someone's there. Someone you have just spent the night with, someone's life you're proud to share. Haven't put my face on, haven't done my hair. As it seems standing there Nothing too excessive or extreme Hoping for the humdrum Is that aiming high? Others seem to find it Tell me why on earth can't I? Imagine keeping a goldfish. A goldfish? You saddo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've got one more. What does Donkey shout at the table in Shrek? What table? The table. Oh. I think I thought that's all it needs, that question. What what, what does Donkey shout at the table? <laughs> Are you in? And I ate all of Steph's biscuits and it's taken me about two minutes to get there because I first said that I threw them in the bin, then I said that I just had a few and I actually ate the half the packet. I said, Where are my biscuits? And I threw them in the bin, but I didn't. <laughs> After eating them. Yeah. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Henry's out every night on the 
town just sleeping around like what the hell if that's how it's gonna be maybe i'll flirt with a guy or three just to make him gel well then he finds out and he goes mental he screams and shouts like so judgmental oh you damn ned witch mate just shut up i wouldn't be such a if you could get it up okay addy <laughs> come in are you right in here are you okay Okay, uh, see you on stage. <laughs> We're the cast of six, and make sure you tune in to Build London at 4.30. Come on. Hey, marketing, how can I help you? <laughs> oh, you're on live. Hey, yeah. guys. Sorry to be a pain. I, I, don't, I never really come into the dressing rooms when, like, I'm, I'm in, I'm, I'm, I'm doing marketing, so... Um, <laughs> I, um, how is the, the marketing going? Yeah, it's going amazing. We've um, just had a brand new uh, camera be delivered, so uh, oh. we're editing and stuff. Then um, the marketing will go up because we can take photos of like the posters and the, and the people everywhere, so it's nice. Okay. It's really nice. That, that's great. There it is. That's so that nice. That is so now, great. Now, Millie comes from Scotland. How much training did you do for your you know, um, <laughs> editing and uh, promotional um, I went to um oh no I went to um <clears throat> Guild School of Acting but I did the um technician course. Um, <laughs> oh, I just copied your accent. I just realised I was Australian. Sorry, I was my ears. There was a little bit of a uh, technical difficulty. Let me just get, let me just get the marketing again. Sorry, on sorry. Set. It's just merely for marketing. marketing. She came over to um. Australia Hello. to train Hello. with Nellie May Paris is still on in the catering. I like it. Sorry about that. Um, I actually don't know what happened there. Uh, it's because I'm like subjective to other accents sometimes, and sometimes with all the marketing that I do, I get confused. <laughs> so um, I actually was meant to say I did the technician course in Guildford School of Acting, which is really nice. And, and how did you like get in touch with Nellie and, and Maya from catering to like move to Australia to do the Kate Howard look? Well. I did, um, I actually managed to fax them, <laughs> and then I sent a pigeon over, uh, and it, it held a little telegram, but that was way back in the 90s, yeah, 1990s. It was, it was, do you know what? God, I, God, I like, it was about the 60s, I'm really sure I'm aged now. <laughs> I remember that, Millie. I do. Mm. I really remember when you contacted me via that pigeon called Stan. <laughs> Stan. Stan. Stan the pigeon. He's very famous in Australia. He Stan. is Stan. Yes, he's he really known about the country. It's because yeah. he's like one in a million. <laughs> <laughs> he's not in your regular pigeon. So when you really get your hands on Stan, you've got to know how to handle him because once you got him, you never let him go. You never let him fly. You've got to train him first. And after you train him, you can let him go. You've got to be nice. Children, oh. let's save the pitiful children. Oh. 